The loose one-way linking of the web is one of the major reasons the web has been so successful. It's also a significant contributor to the web not being resilient. Broken links can make it almost impossible for web users to find what they're looking for, and there's no feature or service out there to automatically fix them. The good news is the web platform has tools built in to ensure links don't get broken when resources are moved or deleted or something else happens. It's not a perfect fix for all issues, but it is a toolkit developers can and should use to ensure they don't contribute to the growing problem of broken links on the web. They're called HTTP redirects. If a web resource, so a document, an image, a page, a website, or anything else is moved from its known location, anyone trying to visit that old location gets a 404 not found response. This response is so common, it's become part of our culture, a strong signal the issue of broken links is a systemic problem on the web. Now, here's the thing. 404 is the default fallback for all web services when a user requests something that doesn't exist. It tells us nothing about why that thing doesn't exist, if it was moved or removed or simply never existed, or if the URL was wrong. It just says not found. We can do a lot better. Using HTTP status codes, you can instruct browsers and search engines to temporarily or permanently redirect a request to a resource that has been moved. This is done using codes in the 300 range. 301, moved permanently, 302, found, 303, see other, 307, temporary redirect, or 308, permanent redirect. Why so many options, you ask? Because the web has evolved, and here again, we find progressive enhancement at play. Let me break down when to use these codes with some scenarios. Scenario one, you've moved a resource permanently to a new location. This could be a different URL, on the same domain, or it could be a new domain. In this scenario, use 301 moved permanently. The browser will automatically load the new location and search engines will treat the new location as the canonical location. So you don't lose any of that precious SEO juice. A 301 message kind of indicates the original location will eventually disappear and actively encourages the use of the new location instead. Scenario two, you've temporarily moved a resource, but you might bring it back later. The traditional approach here is to use 302 found, but this is technically wrong. You should use either 303 see other, which forces a get request to the new location, or 307, which provides the browser with a new URL and sends either a get or a post or a push or a pull request to the new location. This last part is important. 303 always forces a get request, but if the target is meant to receive some form of data, like a form input send using post, 307 must be used instead. Both 303 and 307 are for temporary redirects, meaning there's a good reason for the user to assume the resource will return to the original location and should therefore continue using that URL. However, if 303 and 307 redirects remain in place for a long time, search engines may treat them as 301 redirects instead. Which brings us to the final option, 308 permanent redirect. This code works like 307 by preserving get and post requests, but indicates a permanent redirect in line with 301. So what's the difference between 301 and 308? A 301 redirect implies that the browser should pass the intent to request to the new location, be that get or post or anything else. But in many cases, browsers convert the request to a get request, meaning if the user filled the form and then hit a 301 redirect, they are redirected and have to refill the form. A 308 redirect must perform the same request exactly. So if a form was filled, the post request is forwarded to the new domain. Here's my recommendation to make all of this practical and make resilient links. Number one, anytime you move a resource to a new location, use a redirect to ensure visitors using the old URL actually get the resource they're looking for. In most cases, this will be either a 301 or a 308 redirect. Number two, if you're sending data, use either a 307 temporary or a 308 permanent redirect message because that preserves the intent of the original request. Number three, if you are replacing a resource with an updated resource, provide clear notice to the user that they're looking at a replacement, ideally with a link to the original. Number four, if you're permanently removing a resource, redirect to a central page with relevant resources to avoid the user landing on a 404 page. Number five, 
If the updated or removed content is meaningful, consider creating a page explaining why it has been updated or removed. And finally, number six, in the unlikely but not impossible scenario you have to move a page for legal reasons, you can use the 451 unavailable for legal reasons message. And yes, for the curious, the code is named after Ray Bradbury's book Fahrenheit 451. <laughs>